Any honorable speaker, I be going to do my sell a power CPC, but they are taking preemptive strike. Honorable uh, speaker, from the outset, I would like to take this opportunity to appreciate the hard work and the enduring professionalism of committee members throughout the life of this committee. For the first time in many years, the country and the African continent rewarded the committee with a resounding cheer for raising the bar of parliamentary oversight. Nowhere is this decision more evident than in the quality of the report that is tabled in Parliament today. Well done, colleagues. In fact, there are quite a number of recommendations that would more than help in forwarding the cause of building an SABC that adheres to its mandate as outlined in the Broadcasting Act and the SABC char Charter. Chief among them are the need for the Memorandum of Incorporation to be amended in order to align it with the Broadcasting Act, the need for the Interim Board to engage with the Auditor General to address all its findings relating to irregular, fruitless, and wasteful expenditure, as well as the need to establish, to initiate rather, disciplinary steps against any culprit among others. The report also lays bare the central role the Minister of Communications played in the SABC quagmire, such as her role in amending the MOI. For these reasons, we must not mince our words in calling for the Minister of Com Communications to bite the dust. You will, however, recall that the committee did not accede to the UDM's request to give Mr. Claudi Mitsuneng a fair opportunity to give his side of the story although to a large extent everything that was discussed in the inquiry centered around him. Subsequent to this request, and in a letter dated the 16th of February 2017, Majav Incorporated made a similar request, cautioning the committee about the dangers of its refusal to grant Mr. Mitsuneng an opportunity to state his side of the story. Majav attorneys I quite correctly argues that the committee's refusal to give a hearing to Mr. Mitsuneng, I quote, has breached a foundational principle of our constitutional democracy, the right to be heard. This too fell on deaf ears. Some have incorrectly argued that all our call seeks to glorify Mr. Mutsuneng. Nothing could be further from the truth. We make this call because we know, as you all do, that he too deserves to be treated fairly like everyone else. As lawmakers, we should not only treat fairly those whom we like, and you'll treat all those we don't like. Regrettably, what started out as a good process will now go down with the double stigma of bias and illegitimacy. For these reasons, the United Democratic Movement does not support this report. Thank you.